What's good? What is good? <clears throat> Excuse me. This is part two of the esoteric meaning of numbers, zero through nine. Last video, we did one through four, I mean zero through four, and today we're going to do five through nine. It's from a website I found it's called The Magical Pen. It's esoteric writings and musing. I like that picture. Last week's post took upon the numbers 0 through 4 and their energetic signatures. Let's continue with numbers 5 through 9. 5. Change will occur when the foundation is disrupted and pushed to, to its limit of growth. So the number 5 represents the regener regenerative process and the potential of directing that energy towards a specific and defined goal of new creation when we arrive at the number five we have opened up the stable base of four visual a square sometimes has disrupted the order at the four and made way for a new form to appear we also the number five, as represented by the pentagram, five points, each reflective of a, of a quality of an element, fire, water, air, and earth. And at the pentacle or point, the element of spirit. Wow. That was, that was, that was deep. Visually, the shape of the of a five-sided shield gives additional meaning to the energy of the number five the tip or point of the shield may be pointed in any direction and used as a singular focus point of the ener of the energy that has been supported in the four sides this is the action of five as we set our course of focus on a specific end point and by the catalytic nature of will, this energy naturally disrupts, changes and sets about a new path. The star energy of the number five is Mercury, or what people call planetary. I call them stars, so I'm going to say the star energy of the number five is Mercury. Mercury is the lord of communication. In all of its forms, speech, art, music, writing, etc. are all held within the energy of Mercury. The infamous effects of a, Mer of a Mercury retrograde speak of failure of technological and human communications. Warning to read the fine print before signing contracts or entering into agreement and misunderstanding and arguments seem to increase during this time period. This type of activity is an expression of the energy of polarity that is held within Mercury. Communication stirs the energy and starts new conversations, which is productively acted upon. Disrupt the status quo and move into new creations. That hold the potential for great achievements. Read more about Mercury. The Temple of Mercury. What's up? Now Mercury. I've read, I've read uh, about Mercury. The individual Mercury. And also. In the periodic table Mercury. Because Mercury is a conductor. Of electricity and from what I think you know if you look into I'm just gonna say quick Tartaria if you look into Saint Christopher with the red and the silver I think and gold you'll figure out how you extract energy and all that but anyway let's move on astrology the house of creativity creativity effort and the resilient products this is the astral astrolog <laughs> this is the 
This is the astrological house that provides the energy to reform what has been brought into manifestation and its progress through houses one through four. This is the palace of emergence from the fourth house of family. And if there was sufficient care and nurturing, easing into transition of moving away from the stable place of home will be one of creative adventure the ruling sign of the fifth house is virgo whose energy is analytical detail oriented and very specific about what passes into test virgo is an earth sign so what is set upon to be recorded will either be directly of the physical realm or will end result and impact into the concrete world. Virgo is the stabilizer of the zodiac wheel. And without the stability of a reliable and useful container, creation will not reach its fullest potential. Tarot, the Hierophant. Tarot, key five. The Hierophant sits as representative of divinity within the container of humanity in corporeal form. The number of this key five holds the mystery of how that union is fostered and retained once expressed. Five is the number of disruption emerging from the foundations of four equilateral and equally supportive sides. The hierophant is testament to the ability to retain the merciful attitude of the manifest and act in service to the creative energies of the divine. In this sense, the Hierophant and all who aspire to state of being have done the work of drawing all the elemental parts of self into a place of mastery. And it is formed this mastery that is birthed the and livened sixth element of the spirit of Gnosis. I was thinking of the word Gnostic, but Gnosis maybe that could say, or Gnosis. The, the Kabbalah. Jibra or Jibra. I'm going to say Jibra. Might. It is with the precision of a surgeon scalpel or the more radical aggressive of the soldier wielding the sword, the imbalance of disease or disharmony of unchecked, unrestrained power is, is excised, reshaped and transmuted by the catalytic energy of Gebura. The sphere of Gebura is probably the most feared sphere of the tree. It is also largely, largely the most misunderstood and misrepresented, as its energy is fierce in nature, accepting nothing less than change and exerts a force that is transformative. Within the, the sphere of Gebra, or maybe it's Gebra, I would say Gebra, we are now faced with choice and free will. Gebra is the place of creating and exercising discernment, knowing when to push the limit and how to create the necessary resistance to, to the surge of creativity that provides boundaries to create form from that has potential to become chaos. It is through this process of movement, force, challenge, obstacle, and friction that we have the greatest potential for growth and greater free will of a higher frequency that is inher inherently divine in nature. That was all very uh, powerful and deep to me. And this is all off numbers. Six. I have felt the waters of chaos. 
and birth what will flow har harmoniously and fully and live in as its product. Within the energy of the number six lies the harmonious relationship between the essential trinity and the spiritually amplified trinity, higher expression. As we work within a state of balance and sincerity of action designed towards the higher good, for all we move towards a place of spiritual enlightenment. This is the call to bring it into harmony and collaborative interaction, the synthesized product of harmonious expression. If we think of the birthing process, the act of labor and giving birth is one that moves you from the comfort of, of body and mind Emotions run high and the energy expended means pushing to the limits what is normal baseline of strength and endurance. Pain, fatigue, and much more are companions in the process of bringing life into manifest realm, into the manifest realm. But the exhilaration joy and harmony of all senses that were stretched beyond capacity erase any discomfort that occurred previously all is forgotten in this bliss of looking at this tiny form of human life that is dependent on your stability care love for its survival this is the quint quintestio let me make sure I got that right. Nah, it's Quin Quintessentio energy of the number six. Quintessentio energy of the number six. The place of calm and rest and realization of union of a true, a triune nature that has co-created with that with that which is like itself in divinity sorry for the noise in the background i always got to say that the planetary energy of the number six is venus or the star venus the planet venus was called phosphorus by the greeks which translates to light bearer and naga or noga in hebrew which means the shiner Venus shines most brightly in the, in the sky in the morning. That's why when people say the morning star, some say the sun. But I say Venus because I know when I go for my walks in the morning, Venus is shining real bright. Anyway, let's get back to the article. This is the gift of attraction that has the planet of love ex executed. The energy of Venus is that of beauty, harmony, and awakening, the emotional self. It is the heart that yearns for romance and connection. This energy supports social intera interaction, and the overwhelming goal is so to connect at a deep and often intimate level with those of our choosing. Read more about Venus. The Temple of Venus, learning to love. And if you're going to look into Venus, look into Isis. And then you'll get to Mar Mary and other stuff. But let's move on. Astrology, the house of service. Career and community. This is the astrological house that opens the pathways for seeing and responding to what is outside of your personal needs. This is the house that provides the energy that will inspire you towards a path of service that may be expressed through career choice. As in case of the health professionals or in, or in community, as in the chase of volunteers, I mean, as in the case of volunteers, its ruling sign is Libra, the sign of balance and refinement. This means that choices will be weighed and measured for efficiency and selection will be made based upon the atheistic
Sorry. What word? Hey, I'm trying not. Delic, son. It isn't um based upon the. I can't think of the word. I'm sorry, everyone. Selection will be made based upon the. All os authetics. No, I think the S is silent. Authetics. I'll say or authetics. That may be achieved. I'm embarrassed. I can't even say that word. If we um, return to the idea of harmonious expression of the number six, it is not a joyous and harmonious state to be enraptured by an action or object of beauty. Now to clarify, I am not necessarily speaking of physical beauty, for beauty truly is held in the eye of the beholder. This is beauty that is transcendent and stirs the the longing within to connect and be at one with others, giving of yourself as the bridge of connection. And I will go look that word up and definitely uh, sound it out right and correct because I can't let that slide. Tear it, the lovers. Tear it key six. The lover speaks of the power of duality, relationship, and the harmonious union of opposites. Their union is blessed by the higher power of limitless. All in the solar fires of quickening are ready as the support to create progni for the union. The energy of the sixth key is one of the needed for the intent of creation and application upon what holds the central core of the whole stable and in the state of balance. It is through this harmonious collaboration that, that separation of the two incoming energies and recognition of yeah, recognition of their differing states of expression become preciously configured for use. And this stuff's deep. A lot of gems up in here. The Kabbalah. Typharis, Typharith, or Typharith, or Typharith, means beauty. The sphere of Tifar, Tifir, I wish I knew this word, it's going to bother me now. The sphere of Typharith is the central core of the self. It both emanates in sustaining and strengthening energy and also serves to contract, assimilate, and quicken. This energy is magnetic in nature, and as it absorbs and draws towards itself, it sim simultaneously releases, distributes, and emits the newly transformed energy. This action is very similar to the process of the heart, within the phys physiology of our being. The heart serves to cleanse and purify the, the blood for recycling and releasing to those vital areas that are reached via the elaborate network of vein and artery. This action puts the body in a state of attunement so that the vital nutrients may be received and the body will remain viable, strong, and healthy in function. Typharith acts as the place of attunement and synthesis of return and release whereby the energies of the other spheres have a place of common meeting ground to blend and distribute in accord with the specific needs of balance and equilibrium. Man. Typhereth is not only the place of deeper connection, but it takes that connection further and the call to be fully present. Fully present in the sense of the bright light of the sun shining on you. 
moving you into the spotlight and making you accountable, not only for showing up to do the work, but to do so and illuminate it and fully and live in and illuminated and fully and live in the way. Seven. I have gained experience from lessons I have sought, and now my paths are many upon which I may seek higher knowledge. Within the energy of the number seven lay the may paths of higher expression and development. Seven is the number of the Pleiades or Pleiades, the number of the elder planets or stars of astrology, the seven sacred vowels, and the seven major chakras within the subtle bodies. This is also the number of synthesis, having moved towards the harmonious balance of the number six to, to a point of gathering to all those experiences into a palace of multiple options and outcomes for further expression and exploration. The planetary energy of the number seven is Neptune. Neptune brings with its energy the mystical and dreamy quality that serves as the deep wells that holds dreams of, of uh, aspiration that prod us forward toward, toward seeking answers. Neptune is considered the higher amplification of Venus. If we consider this thought, Neptune then moves to a place of talking what we love and turning into true passion. Passion makes us eager to try new things and explore new roads. Passion allows us to rewrite the journey we are not aligned with. Passion helps us reach deeply and find what truly motivates us. Real more about Neptune, lifting the veil, Neptune retrograde. Astrology, the house of higher learning, teaching, and seeking the and seeking the teacher. The seventh house is considered with providing opportunity. If we have learned from our lessons, we are able to recognize even the smallest of opportunities and take the first steps down a new road of exploration. Remember nothing in the forest, as it seems. We often find the greatest treasures by going off the, beat, the beaten path and making our own trails that others will use their point of first experience. When we reach beyond that, we think we know we become the teachers of those that come behind. When we have the courage of admitting what we don't know, then is when the teacher is revealed. Tarot, the chariot. Tarot key seven. The chariot represents a duality of constraint and the control of restraint. The image offers much information about the tug and the pull that is required to come to a point of control when two very dynamic principles are at work. The charioteer must establish and then subsequently claim his domain over that would pull him in, the, in, his, in direction of its own accord. The two sphinxes expressing the balance of man and beast, light and dark, male and female, standard as pillars awaiting the direction of what oversees their actions. That reminds me of the yin and yang symbol too. Kobala. Netzach. Or net, net, I'll say Nezak. I think the T is silent. Net, Zach, or Netzach, victory. The sphere of Netzach is the place of establishing the balance of hedonistic and atheistic ideals. Love is the primary focus 
but not at the expense of overindulgence in physical pleasure. This is also the place of expression and love of nature in all of her forms. The connection between beauty and the energies that are contained within the force of nature, this is, this is a strong one. Even in the neutral world, more, disrupt, more disruptive expression, the order of intelligence is designed, applied in her shaking free from her mantle. Those disruptions of energy is done with a, with a sense of order, intent, and atheisticism. I don't think that's atheisticism. I think that's... I got to look this word up, man. That that is sism. I know it's something that is sism. I'm going to look into it. Because that bothers me. That's the second time that came up. No, number eight. Or symbol eight. I came upon a path of choosing... And although the promise was great for learning my own nature, I must first go back to the beginning and build the foundations anew. The number eight represents the mastery over oneself through the sacrifice of contraction and expansion. This is the journey of holding and funneling what, was the, what has desire to reach beyond itself and the ultimate need for release into a state of expansive form formalness or formlessness. <laughs> that is the point of sacrifice of what one has gathered to oneself through experience and seeking and trusting that it, it will all become the container and provide structure for further expansion. That's powerful. This is the number that is a doubling and the stability and foundation expressed by the number four. It is the mirroring of two bases of four sides that reflect back to one another in, 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 in perfect symmetry. And when these two platforms of stability reflected as above, so below, unite the cube of creation and is enabled. Hmm. Somebody spoke about that. I'm going to bring that up in another video. The planetary energy of the number eight is Saturn. Saturn is the lord of time. So is Kronos. And the time energy of structure as held in the gates of time. Another Saturn's functions, that of contraction and linear time, is one of the greatest restrictors of natural flow. The Roman god Saturn is strongly influenced by the Greek god Cronus. The word Cronus is related to Kronos, which means time. Saturn, astrologically, is the keeper of time and brings maturity, wisdom, and simplicity to people over time. It is human nature to be impatient and aware of time in a way that is not always productive. Developing patience in these matters opens an awareness of the infinite nature of things. It is with great patience and care that a mother nurtures and teaches her young, with the hopes that as time passes, they will heed the lessons well and move forward through time in health, joy, and growth. Astrology, the house of transformation and endings. Death and rebirth. The eighth house is the the eighth house is concerned with what lay hidden in the shadows of the subconscious. We are fearful to bring into the light. That is also the space where the greatest transformation take pl takes place once we allow the process of death to allow the necessary release. Of what we hold on to. That keeps us from growth. Man I can relate to that. 
the ruling astrological signs of the, is, is blah, 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 blah. the ruling astrological sign is that of Scorpio. Scorpio is a sign of extremes, and if we consider the cyclical or cy cyclical nature, is that cyclical? Cyclical, sick. Um, cyclical, cyclical nature of the number eight. Okay, I'm gonna look that word up too. I think it's cyclical. I said cyclical, but it's got to be cyclical nature of the number eight. The dynamics of Scorpio's intensity runs the ga the gamut from the deep subconscious of the Scorpion to the lofty heights of the renewed and reborn phoenix. Tarot strength. Tarot key eight. Strength and representation, the eternal nature of conquering what could otherwise outpower our more civilized nature. The number eight and the image of the lemon, the lemniscate over the head of the feminine principle gives indication of the timelessness in the pursuit. Most spiritual practices work to develop the refined nature of humanity, and often this work includes facing those aspects of ourselves, which would be considered more primal, fierce, and baser in nature. The energy of this key lies in the ability to tame through gentle action what remains part of our baser nature. There is great strength in knowing when the fiercer aspects of ourself justifiably will serve a better purpose. But we cannot effectively control those appetites if we have not first acknowledged and embraced them. The Kabbalah, Had, Glory. The sphere of Had is one of the pure reasons in logic that has not yet been refined and balanced by heart and emotion. Its function is to make order of the universe through objective reasoning and higher thought. With its rational and reasoning are the tools that may be used in discovering the deeper mystery contained within information. It is through the crystal clarity of pristine thinking that enables a better and more efficient means of communicating what knowledge has been extracted. 9. The cycles of my new foundation revealed the gate of initiation, and I stepped through unafraid in the transformation that became the brilliance of my new self. The number 9 relates to death and rebirth acting as a gate of movement into a new state of being. It is purposeful regeneration of what has been purified and in, emboldened by the process of release. And it is, and it is in the state of self-awareness, inner light and true wisdom, that we are made ready to begin to to begin the work of returning to the place of beginning. This is the number that carries us in, into the darkness so that we may find ourselves in the light. This is the number that decrees that change will occur, whether it, it is welcomed with surrender or fought with all of our might. It is from the number nine that we test our strengths and refine our weaknesses as we cross the threshold of our own glory. The planetary energy of the number nine is Mars. This is the combustible force that propels new growth forward. It is justifiable assertion of itself that puts the plan in motion and a rational aggressiveness that serves as the 
tantrum of a child wanting attention and not receiving what is needed before they can move on their next creative um their next creative project mars is the corrector of imbalance the ultimate equalizer it is the energy behind a war that survives and strives to bring and end war simply because sometimes that is the only way to override a power that is being misused. Anger, aggression, and assertiveness are often viewed in our society as being inappropriate and negative behaviors. However, if they were not the fueling of energetic fires and anger towards the atro the atro cities of child abuse, female mutilation of other social injustices. These in injustices and ill-used powers play plays would go unnoticed and unchanged. The fiery light of Mars shines brightly and brings into the central heat of the flame that which needs transformation. To read more about Mars, Sparks Flying, and Mars Alignment. <clears throat> Astrology. Let me get something to drink here. Astrology, the house of transformation and ending, death and rebirth. Okay. The ninth house is concerned with those things that make us whole after... We have been taken apart, analyzed, and refined. This is the house of death, both physical and metaphysical. And these blessings of rebirth await all who step into the darkness of the unknown. The ruling astrological sign of the ninth house is Sagittarius. This is the sign of out, outreach and expansion through personal and commun, communal connection. As we reach beyond our limitations and perception of doubt, we become fully realized in our place as part of the greater collective of humanity. Tarot, the Hermit. Tarot Key 9. The Hermit turns. The Hermit turns within to communicate within the higher nature of his being to better analyze and become to a place of informed enlightenment. This tarot key serves as the point of accountability. The hermit gives heed to the need for moving into the darkness of souls intent before movement into light and balance may be achieved. The divine light of self serves as the lantern and guide. And what is sacrificed within the sanctuary of the hermit becomes the consciousness of will that lights the way for its higher expression. Man, I like how cultures take Mother Nature um, like, and use it for a lesson. I thought that was pretty powerful how we use the... Um, for the light and the dark, the hermit and the divine, and all the, just the whole thing was just powerful. Kabbalah, Yesod, foundation. Yesod or Yesod is the sphere of dreams, fantasies, memory, and a dwelling place of true magic. This sphere holds the key to the unknown and the unknowable. Yasad is known as the treasure house of symbols. It is here that the Akashic records, which are said to contain the memory and experience of every living being, are held within the substance of, of the ether spirit. This attribute alone can give rise to illusion, false conceptions, and a deluded sense of soul's purpose. It is a world of shadow and illusion, being held in a state of in-between, 
Yesod resonates to the sacral chakra and as such in the plane of sexuality and the potential underlying each act of coupling. Is this fer the fertile breeding ground for all future spiritual development? They got a 10. Let's see what they say about 10. And so he begins anew. 10. I crossed through the gate and emerged not alone, for I carried with me the truth of my beginning and the knowledge of my final end. The number 10 is the place of restarting the numerical cycles, now doubled, see I knew it, enhanced and amplified by another number at its side. In this case, we have the singular one, the individual and the limitless nature of zero, which is both recipient from all, all, the, all in collaboration with all that has been and will be, it is matter of physical form, one, and the spirit of the limitless of all, zero, joined in effort, male and female maybe. In conclusion, numerology is a fascinating subject that has so many layers of, correspondent, of correspondence, everything it is applied to becomes more dynamic in the under pinning of its energy once you have some of the basics down forming your own conclusions and depend uh, deepening levels of understanding come as easily as one two three and i thought this was very powerful um man i like it to end how because while I was reading through this, and, and both of them, part one and two, I said to myself, we are all these astrological signs, astrological signs, because, you know, even though I was born in April, and I'm an Aries, I still live under every single sign. I still get the energy from every sign. But because I was born in April, maybe that's my most powerful energy. But yeah, I like how it says you can, you know, have your own perspective on this. And that is so very true. And this was very interesting and deep. And it was worth regurgitating. So I hope everyone enjoyed this because I did. And I will be doing more on, um, you know, esoteric, um, sacred, all that stuff. Especially with numbers and symbols, like I said, and sacred geometry. So peace and love to everybody. Be safe and keep pushing forward and stay shining.